in this video, we present ripple counters. But before on, we would like to describe the difference between this type of counters, which is called ripple counters, and another type, which is called synchronous counters. Synchronous, as usual, means it is a clock, which has a clock input. Ripple counters are different that we will discuss next. In the ripple counter, the output of one flip-flop serves as the source for triggering the other flip-flops. But in a synchronous counter, the C inputs of all flip-flops receive the common clock. There are two types of ripple counters that we will describe. The first is called binary ripple counter that we describe in this slide, in this video. However, the other one is called BCD, or binary color decimal ripple counter that we present in the next video. The binary ripple counter, which we also call sometimes asynchronous counter, which is not synchronous because it does not include or use a clock, it counts the binary sequence, which is from 0, 1, 2, up to 15, back to 0, and so forth. The counter that we present here is negative edge triggered, which means when the clock or the input goes from 1 to 0, the counter will count, will increase by 1. And as we mentioned, the output of one flip-flop is used as the clock input of the next flip-flop. Let us describe this using a 4-bit binary counter, which needs four flip-flops that we call A0, A1, A2, and A3. And in these flip-flops, the D input of each flip-flop is the complement of the output of the flip-flop. As we can see here, A0 prime is input to D0, A1 prime is input to D1, and A2 prime input to D2, and A3 prime is input to D3. And all flip-flops receive a common reset signal, where if this is zero, it clears all the flip-flops. Let us explain how does it function. Assume the counter is initially 0, 0, 0, 0. So the complement here is 1, 1, and 1, and 1. And the inputs to the D are 1, all of them. So when the count pulse, which is connected to the first flip-flop, goes from 1 to 0, as we can see here, what will happen? The data will be loaded to the flip-flop, so it appears at the output. So this one appears here. When this one appears here, the clock of this flip-flop goes from 0 to 1, so nothing will happen. Same thing, the other flip-flops, no change will happen to the clock. Therefore, the count will be 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, at the next count pulse, which means it is up and down again, this is the second count, and this is the first count. Again, the first flip-flop, which was one, and when this is one, this will be zero here, and this will be zero. The zero will be loaded in the flip-flop, so this will become zero. And this clock here, it was one, and it changed to zero. So there is change from one to zero, therefore this input will be loaded here. And the next count will be zero, zero, one, zero. After it was zero, 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 one. And the third count pulse, which means we have one more, this will be changed to one, because when this is zero, this is one, and this is one. And the next count will be zero, zero, one, one. Now, with zero, zero, one, one, if this is one here, this will be zero, and this will be zero here. And if this is one, this will be zero, and this will be zero. And if this is zero, this is one, and this is one. Now, at the next clock pulse, when we have the clock goes from one to zero again, which is the fourth clock pulse, the fourth count pulse, we have this one will change from one to zero, because this zero 
will be input to this flip-flop. And this one also will go from 1 to 0. And when this goes from 1 to 0, this clock goes from 1 to 0. And therefore, this will be 1. And from 3, the next count will be 4. And so on, we continue until we have 0, 1, 1, 1, which is 7. And when all of these are 1, 1, 1, 0, using the same method exactly, we can prove that the next count will be 8. And so on, we go up to 15. And when all of them are 15, we have 1, 1, 1, 1. The inputs will be zeros to the Ds flip-flops. And on the next count, this one will change to 0. And changing this from 1 to 0 will make this one change to 0. And make this change from 1 to 0 will make this one to change to 0. And this will change to 0. And therefore, we go to 0, 0, 0, 0, and so forth. So that's a quick description of how does this counter operate. Now, we would like to point out one thing, actually, which is there is a time delay between the change of the bits in the counter. Because when the count pulse changes here, this is the first flip-flop to change. And then this will be the next one. There is some time delay. And there is time for the other one, and for the other one, and so forth. And we call it, in this case, that there is clock skew which adds up. Imagine if we have 16 flip-flops, the first one will change first, and then second one, third one, fourth one, fifth, sixth, etc. And this is what we mean by the clock skew will add up. So we need more time for the count to reach the final count. So the binary sequence that is counted by the counter that we have just described, if we call the bits flip-flops A3, A2, A1, A0, it goes from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, all the way to 1, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 0, 0, 1, and all the way until 1, 1, 1, 1, it goes back to 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, let us look counter, but using a different type of flip-flops. What we have just used is D flip-flops. Now, we'll explain the same counter, but using the toggle flip-flops. So we have T flip-flops, and all the Ts, we connect them with logic one. And as before, we have the reset input, which is connected to the R of all the flip-flops. And then we have the count input is given to the first flip-flop, and the other outputs, A0 is connected to the clock of A1, and A1 is connected to the clock of A2, and A2 is connected to the clock of A3. Again, assume the counter starts with 0, 0, 0, 0. So what will happen after the first count pulse, when we have the first count pulse, going from 1 to 0, this will toggle. It will become 1. Why? Because t is equal to 1. However, the other flip-flops, they will not toggle because this here, it was 0 and it became 1. So it did not go from 1 to 0. And this was 0 and remained 0. And this was 0 and remained 0. Now, at the second count pulse, so we have this is second count pulse. When it comes, this will toggle again because t is 1, and it will take the value of 0. And when this toggles, when this is 0, this clock will change from 1 to 0. Therefore, this will also toggle. Therefore, we have moved from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 0, 1 after the first count, and then to 0, 0, 1, 0 after the next count. The next to count pulse will make this first flip-flop toggle, which becomes 1, and no change will happen to the others. Therefore, we move to the count 0, 0, 1, 1. And when we are in 0, 0, 1, 1, look, this is 1 here, and this is 1 here now. And at the next count pulse, 
at the next count pulse, this will become zero. Therefore, this clock will change from one to zero. This will become zero. And this clock changes from one to zero. This will become one. So these are three flip-flop toggles. And the next count becomes zero, one, zero, zero. And so forth. We can continue. It will exactly count as the previous counter. So it will reach 15. And after 15, it will go back to zero, 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 zero. Because all the flip-flops will toggle one after the other as we have just explained.